Now we have our contestant number four, Lee Yang Kai. Don't worry just yet. Don't worry just yet, Lee Yang Kai. How can a single exam followed up by a two digit score determine someone's capabilities and talents? Everybody is a genius. But if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing it is stupid. Albert Einstein once said, everybody is a genius. So exams do not judge one's capabilities properly because people are multi-talented and exams fail to recognize certain talents one might have. The fact of the matter is that exams are not an accurate reflection of one's capabilities. They judge everyone by the same common standard, their ability to climb the tree. Because of that, even if you might not be succeeding in school right now, don't worry just yet. Because honestly, how likely is this scenario ever going to happen to any one of you seated here right now, where your future employer looks through your report card and goes, you failed your history in secondary one and got a beef of math in secondary two, I'm not going to hire you. You see, exams don't determine how successful the rest of your life will be. But sometimes we treat it as such, and it can be a problem. I recall my primary school days where my grades were just always so terrible. My math grades especially were subpar. I remember being described as the lesser kid when compared to my brother. The opinions of those around me started to define me. The more people pinned me down, the more I accepted that I was truly the lesser kid. I became the fish that believed it was stupid. Just because it couldn't climb a tree, I allowed exams to determine my self-worth and looking back, this had severe repercussions. It negatively affected my self-esteem and overall just made me feel like I wasn't worth anything. It also limited my potential. After all, if you think that there's a barrier to your limits and that you never will be able to accomplish much, would you still work hard, strive and put in the same amount of effort? But why? Why must you put an imaginary barrier to limit your potential? The truth is that soft skills like communication skills and leadership skills are much, much more value than whether you get an A or a C for your next exams. Now let's look at Simon Cowell, the television producer behind TV shows like The X Factor. Everybody knows him, but very few people know that he barely passed any exams. But just look at how influential a figure he is right now. In fact, Times Magazine named Kao one of the 100 most influential people in the world. Why is this happening? Simply put, exams failed. Exams failed to recognize the talents that he had. So, don't ever let exams lower your value as a person. Don't let exams define you. Even if you might not be succeeding in school right now, don't worry just yet. Continue, continue to work hard and put in your 100% in all of your endeavours. Don't recoil from setbacks, but take them as a learning opportunity and as a catalyst for your future success. That will determine how successful the rest of your life will be. Thank you.